And now, and finally, a belated apology from Britain's former Prime Minister Tony Blair for the invasion of Iraq. In an interview with CNN, Blair apologized for what he called mistakes in planning and understanding the consequences of removing former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. Blair admitted that the invasion of Iraq has been one of the principal causes of the rise of the Daesh terrorists. He added that those who invaded Iraq in 2003 are partly responsible for the current situation there. Blair's apology is thought to have been triggered by new revelations that he ignored warnings about the security consequences of invading Iraq. Over the past 12 years, Blair had repeatedly stated that the invasion of Iraq was right and a source of pride. Former CIA contractor Stephen Kelly believes that Blair's lukewarm apology on the Iraq war is an attempt to curb the consequences once evidence of his real role in the conflict is revealed. Well, obviously, uh, this this shows me that Tony Blair is, is not a very courageous man, and I suspect that, uh, unlike his uh, American counterparts here, he he seems to be showing a little more fear about the repercussions. But I suspect what's really going on here is that they're trying to control the information. Obviously, they can't stop it. Uh, what's coming out? So now they're trying to control the dialogue and uh, and own the own the facts. Uh, most definitely, he is concerned about the world court and and uh, being branded a war criminal, as obviously the uh, court in Malaysia did brand him and Bush a war criminal, so certainly this is something that appears to be weighing heavily on his mind, and I think he's going to try to do everything he can to repair his legacy. Uh, a bigger statement that he made is that uh, the information they received on the WMDs was uh, was 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 inter erroneous information. I think that's a false statement. I think they knew from day one that there were no WMDs, and if there were, they were supplied by the United States.